The other feature of experiments is that we have random assignment. So this is when we actually uh, assign participants to either drink a Coca-Cola or they drink the 7-Up. This is a really important feature that we have to do randomly uh, because if we allow people to choose which type of condition they're in, uh, that bias actually might be causing the, them to have different word recall uh, rather than the actual caffeine itself. So maybe by chance, people who prefer Coca-Cola are gonna have higher recall. And then that throws off our, our experiment. And so what we do instead is we use random assignment. We use a randomized method, such as flipping a coin or rolling a die or a random number generator to actually just assign people to the groups so that there's kind of a, a same amount of variability in both of those groups in terms of you know, preference for the drinks that they're getting or IQ or you know, socioeconomic status, anything that might affect their memory. Let's go back and talk really quickly about these two different conditions that we're assigning participants to. So we either have a control condition or an experimental condition, as I mentioned uh, previously. So I either have a Coca-Cola condition, a treatment condition, so I'm giving them some kind of dose of something. Uh, and that is our treatment condition. Now our control condition, we didn't do anything to them, right? So we'd have no caffeine. We still had them drink a soda so that, again, we control for if maybe it's the sugar in the soda and not the caffeine. Uh, and so we're controlling for that in that way. Uh, other types of treatment and control conditions, for example, is whether you're on depression medication or whether you've got a placebo or whether you have uh, taken a class that uses, you know, uh, cooperative learning groups and classes that don't. So you can kind of compare those two types of teaching styles. If our independent variable is drug treatment, for example, our, can, our treatment group is gonna be the people who actually got that drug. And the control condition is gonna be a placebo condition where they get a pill that doesn't do anything, it's inactive. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, some other examples might be um, types of note taking. So I don't uh, necessarily have to have a treatment and control condition, I could be comparing two different types of treatment, right? So I could tell people to either take notes using a laptop or using a pen and paper. Uh, and I can see the differences between those two different types of note taking on recall of that information. Um, so our treatment condition is the exposed group and the control condition is the comparison group. You can definitely think of them that way.